Oh, match number nine, and 11 of the HBL PSL 9, the Multan Sultans taking on the Quetta Gladiators. On the 25th of February, it's a beautiful day here at the Multan Cricket Stadium for our last of the matches here of the Multan League of the competition. That is match 11, and it's going to be an absolute cracker between the Sultans and the Gladiators. It's a very well welcome from the pitch side studio here. It's a beautiful day here in Multan, our first day game, but unfortunately our last of this leg of the competition. It's been absolutely marvellous to be back in the City of the Saints for the HBL PSL in Season 9. And I've got Bazid Khan alongside me and Mike Hazeman to get ready for all the action we're going to see today. And Bazid, first and foremost, a day game in Multan. What can we expect? Yeah, normally day game, especially a Sunday game, you can expect a full house. You can expect lots of people coming in. Also, probably the day game here, you, last time around it was the batting first team that had advantage. So no question of the pitch quickening up, no question of any sort of due formation. So it, it levels things up a bit in the day game. Uh, Mike Hazeman, we've seen that this has been a fortress for the Multan Sultans. They had been undefeated until Zalmi got up on them over the last game, but they're up against Quetta Gladiators, who haven't won against them for five games in a row. How much is that playing on your mind? It plays a bit, particularly when you lose that last one, as you said. And it's, to me, it's going to be interesting to see how they bounce back. I think that's going to be really important. They're such a professional unit. I don't think that's going to be a major issue for them. But to me, I see it being a real little head-to-head, -head, this, between the, uh, the bowlers yeah. from Multan versus the batsmen from Quetta because they played so well, uh, the bats from Quetta, and they like to go at 10 and over in that power play. So I think that's going to be really important, whereas Multan go to around 7. So there's a, a potential game-breaker there, but the bowlers from Multan have been brilliant so far. The, uh, the new ball bowlers, particularly uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, he's been outstanding. Well, 11 games in, the points table is starting to take place, and after an absolute excitement packet of a game between Lahore and Karachi. Karachi, they were victorious in the end. Multan, they're still sitting pretty at the top of the table today but Quetta Gladiators are right behind them on six points they're still undefeated and Lahore Kalundas are defending champions they're still winless after four games that's it it's it's crazy to see but a little bit earlier today Danny Morrison had one of the emphatic tosses he's known for the Quetta Gladiators they won that they elected to bowl first and as we take a little look at what that does to the team, Bazar Khan, I'm going to come to you first. Yeah. Quetta, they won and they chose to bowl first. Uh, surprises there? Yeah, interesting. The way that Multan, the venue goes, you want to bat first, but, but obviously backing their strength with the bat. Multan Sultans, on the other hand, they've had a few changes. Tayyip Tahir in, he's a very exciting middle order player, very good fielder as well. Also, they've got Aftab Ibrahim, who's a young medium pacer, and it'll be interesting interesting how he goes so they're giving opportunities to all of their squad members no david milan today which is which is one experienced batter out of the list uh, it's a massive out he's apparently unwell and unfit for selection as we look at the playing 11 for the credit gladiators and jason roy at the top of the order mike hayes and he's been brilliant yeah he's been in good form that top three's been really good i mean i want to see kwa janafe play i mean i saw him get that 60 off 31 balls 22 years of age i mean an interesting story that he sent videos and uh, that's the only way he hadn't played any games under televised games really sent videos in 2023 and he got selected for the bpl and now he's in the pier so it's a wonderful story he's an emerging player so watch out for him he's got real talent Usman Tariq is in the lineup and Mohamed Hasnain has been uh, left out. But uh, that's a really strong lineup. It's the first time, by the way, they've made a change in their lineup so far in the PSL. Yeah, well, one change for the Quetta Gladiators, three for the Multan Sultans. And, you know, someone who's had a massive impact on the likes of the bowling side of the Multan Sultans has been Catherine Dalton. The first time that we've had women on the coaching panel in anywhere in the world, and Multan Sultans have the wonderful uh, 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 wonderness of having two different coaches. So Catherine Dalton, she's been really specifically helping Muhammad Ali and we got to know exactly what she's been doing with her team. If you wanted to pick any franchise cricket in the world as a fast bowling coach, you want to pick Pakistan. Pakistan and fast bowling, it just, even now it's lighting me up, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, the amazing thing about coaching is when you see a young player go from a certain level to a new level and you can upskill them and make them better. Uh, that's what I absolutely love doing and seeing their success brings me so much joy and happiness. I, I prefer to coach bowling <laughs> and I love bowling fast. I think there's nothing better than seeing the, the stumps fly out of the ground and 
Uh, it just even now you can see it brings me so much joy. Um, but I also enjoy batting, and I worked out quite late on in my career that I could also bat. Um, ended up batting three for, for Ireland, so uh, it's also great for me out here because I'm, I'm watching the guys bat in the nets as well and, and learning a little bit for myself back home when I go back home and play, continue to play for us. I always say to bowlers, it, it's not about change. As soon as, if you say to a fast bowler, we're going to change your action, their reaction is, no, no, I don't want to do that. If I say to a bowler, would you like to get quicker? Would you like to improve your speed? Would you like to improve your skills? Would you like to be injury free? They say yes. So I see it as improvement, not change. Even if we can improve these bowls by 10% throughout the competition, that would be really great for me and I know I've done a good job. <laughs> um, it's been an amazing experience so far with uh, Multan Santans. We, we were like one big family. We're all in it together and uh, the guys have received me really well. My main message for all young fast bowlers, because I coach a lot of young fast bowlers at home as well, is just to carry on bowling fast. There's nothing more exciting in cricket than fast bowling, so bowl fast first and then work out where the stumps are second. And that's my main message, just keep bowling fast. Oh, well, the HPL PSL is renowned for its fast bowling and Catherine Dalton already making an impact for Asad Khan. It's daisy time, quite a few wickets for Muhammad Ali, leading wicket takers so far. What have you liked about what he's done? He's kept it very simple, which is back of a length and try and hit the stumps as often as possible. It sounds all so simple, but to do that time and time again and do that every game and every other delivery, that's where his skill lies. He's very good with the red ball and it shows because of the consistency of length and line and the ability to change it up seeing the situation of the game. Yeah, it's, it's been fantastic hasn't it Mike Hazeman, so accurate with the ball as well, which has reaped the rewards, 10 wickets so far in the tournament. Yeah, he's number one on the list of wicket takers and it's quite extraordinary, it's, it's 10 wickets at 5.81, so I mean not only that, and some of the bowlers around the tournament so far, I know the, the past ones have picked up wickets but they've also been on the expensive side, but uh, he's been brilliant on both counts, so he is a real threat and I just love his celebrations, love it, Muhammad Ali is best. A daisy time, house. I absolutely love it, but he's up against <laughs> the likes of Riley Russo with the but new captain for Quetta has been working out really, really well, Buzzard. Mm. He's got to go big today against a really well unit, bowling unit. Quetta is a side to watch this HPL PSL line and, and you see that with a change in management. Yes, change in captain, but also change in management. You've got Shane Watson in there. So, so that has worked and it's looked as if their team that should be the one right up there. Yeah, plenty to look forward to today. Building up to ball one of the Multan Sultans taking on the Quetta Gladiators. Beautiful day at Multan Cricket Stadium. Ball one is coming up right after this very, very short break.